Well, the White House holding a meeting with cabinet officials today as President Biden faces increased pressure now over how to handle immigration in the southern border. That's according to multiple reports. The, even, the meeting comes as Republican governors escalate their efforts to send migrants to blue cities. But it appears both sides are talking at each other and not with each other to reach a solution. This could end if they would stop playing that political uh, game and causing confusion and chaos and come work with us on a solution. We do have a plan to stop this process, and the plan begins with the Biden administration finally securing the border. The tension over immigration policy ratcheting up when Florida Governor Ron DeSantis flew two planes of migrants to Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. Those migrants now on Cape Cod. CNBC's Perry Russell is on the vineyard with a look at their journey and what happens next. The migrants' journey from South America has taken them by foot, plane, bus, and now ferry. Their stay at a small church on Martha's Vineyard is over. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker says they are voluntarily going to Joint Base Cape Cod, home to five military commands and now an emergency shelter. Questions remain over how much the migrants were told about their flight to the island. Pedro in the blue jacket says he did not know they were going to Martha's Vineyard. This man says when the plane landed, he thought, now what do we do? They had a map of the airport and a map and, and a, a direct line to Martha's Vineyard Community Services. That's how they found us. Do you think these people, these migrants who came here, truly understood and knew where they were going on that plane? Uh, yes, they thought they were going to Boston. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is taking credit for the planes. Today he calls accusations of the migrants being lured totally false. I mean, these are voluntary uh, transportation that they're signing up for, but they're given a, a good ride. They're given everything. In signing the state's budget this summer, DeSantis allocated $12 million to a new program facilitating the transport of unauthorized aliens out of the state. The governor discussing the plan nearly a year ago. If you sent to Delaware or Martha's Vineyard or some of these places, that border would be secure the next day. Mark Kaplan has lived on Martha's Vineyard for decades. I think he's misreading the population of uh, Martha's Vineyard. Mike Hegarty has built homes on the island for 25 years. I think he was looking for our reaction. This couple moved here months ago. It's kind of backfiring um, from what he originally intended. The immigrant situation is a real and prevalent one. What would happen if another plane landed here in Martha's Vineyard filled with migrants? We would come together as a community and probably do the same. And remember, these are migrants coming from Texas. They are not coming from Florida. Governor DeSantis says he has $12 million to use, and he plans on using every penny. He says there will be more buses and possibly more flights.